Hello and welcome. If you're viewing this screencast, you're probably new to Moodle, so uh, you're taking the first bold steps in installing Moodle. We're going to demonstrate what's involved in installing Moodle uh, on a web server. Uh, we're going to presume, though, that you've got a web domain that's already been configured for the web, and you've got uh, Apache, MySQL, PHP all set up, good to go. We're going to come into Moodle.org in the downloads area and we go to standard Moodle packages. It's a case of choosing your preferred flavor, whether you want to download and work with a current stable release. Uh, there's some older stable builds, and there's also some upcoming releases. These are not fit for a production environment. Um, they're either alpha or beta, or you know, sort of previews or release candidates. So they're typically used by testers or developers. Anyhow, we've downloaded our preferred flavor. You would need to do the same. And then uh, upload it to uh, your web space. So in our case, we're using Control Panel. And it would be a matter of uploading uh, your chosen Moodle build to the public HTML or the web root or the HT docs area of your chosen domain. Now, before we proceed with the installation, uh, we need to create a database and a user. So we'll do that very quickly now. Creating a uh, MySQL database for this particular Moodle. and we'll create a user as well. Now let's associate the uh, said user with newly created database and assign them all privileges. So that's been done. Back over to File Manager, let's now extract our Moodle software into the public HTML directory. Okay, so that's been done. It's a case of Pulling your browser at the URL and you will now run the install wizard. So choose your language. You can see here we've got the, uh, the said full web address, the Moodle directory and a Moodle data directory that should be situated outside your public HTML or your web root. And uh, it's important that, uh, that this directory is readable and writable by the web server. Choose your database type. And now it's a case of putting in your database uh, name and user password. So we read the uh, conditions and understand them and agree to them and then move forward. We've seen an environmental check here before we proceed with the installation. And so long as there's no red flags uh, with respect to the database uh, and its encoding and uh, PHP and the uh, related libraries and extensions, we should be okay to proceed.
So what's happening here, we're creating the data, uh, I guess the tables in the fields uh, that are required um, within the MySQL database for Moodle to function. So scroll to the bottom of that page and we click continue. So we're now creating the primary or the super admin account. Just need to fill out the mandatory fields. Update your profile. And we'll give the, uh, the site a full name, a short name, and save those changes. So there you have it. We've just installed a vanilla mint Moodle instance. And now it's up to you as the primary admin to go through and customize the global configurations. And then naturally you can start adding users, assigning roles, uh, creating courses and content. So uh, relax, enjoy, and happy moodling.